Hello friends. Indian Railway Finance Corporation, also known as IRFC, is a dedicated borrowing arm of Indian Railways. IRFC is only owned by Government of India under the administrative control of Ministry of Railways. IRFC has a unique business model which provides a good steady growth and carry a very low risk. Unlike banks and other NBFCs, IRFC doesn't have any NPA issues. In past years, NPA is zero. In this video, we will analyze the draft prospectus to understand the business model and we will also look at the IPO details. So the IPO issue will open on January 18th and closes on January 20th. The price band for the IPO is fixed at rupees 25 to 26 rupees. That lot size is 575 shares and retail has 35% allocation to the IPO. As per the offer document, the IPO consists of fresh issue of 93.8 crore shares and the promoters Government of India will be selling 46.9 crore shares via offer for sale rule. The IPO size is expected to be around 4,633 crores. The proceeds from fresh issue will be used to enhance the equity capital to support the future growth and for general corporate purposes. Coming to the business details, IRFC was incorporated in the year 1986 and is wholly owned by Government of India. Company's primary business is financing the acquisition of rolling stock assets of Indian Railways which include the powered and unpowered vehicles such as locomotives, coaches, wagons, trucks, containers, etc. Another big segment for IRFC is leasing of railway infrastructure assets, which is known as project assets. If we look at the breakup of total AEM, 60.8% is lease receivable primarily in relation to rolling stock assets. 36.64% is advances against the leasing of project assets. Remaining 2.56 is, is loans to central public sector enterprise entities under Ministry of Railways. The period of lease is typically 30 years, comprising a primary period of 15 years followed by a secondary period of 15 years. IRFC has financed 82% of Indian Railway's total rolling stock assets as on FY90. Here is the breakup of total rolling stock assets financed by the IRFC. The margins for IRFC is lower compared to other banks and NBFCs as it's fully dealing with the government business which is secure. Margins for rolling stock assets is 40 basis points and margin for project assets is 35 basis points. IRFC is well capitalized capital adequacy ratio as on September 2019 was 303% and IRFC doesn't have any non-performing assets. The company also have the highest credit rating by Crisit, ICRA and CARE. International credit rating agencies like Moody's, Standard & Poor's, Fitch have assigned a rating on par with India's sovereign rating. Now looking at the financials. The revenue from operations have increased from 9,267 crores in 2018 to 13,838 crores in 2020. The profit before tax has increased from 2,592 crores to 3,693 crores in the same period. The net profit for the period has increased from 2,000 49 crores in 2018 to 3,692 crores in 2020. The return on equity is 13.19% as on 2020 and the NAV per share is rupees 32.96. Now coming to the valuations at upper price band of rupees 26 the, and EPS of rupees 3.9 for FI20. IRFC IPO issue is priced at 6.7x the FI20 earnings. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe.